What's up with you guys? One of the most common questions I usually get, basically on a weekly basis, is about the threat landscape. So I decided to do a brief video about the top cybersecurity threats for 2021. Now, I assume that some of you will disagree and will say, But Yaniv, this threat should not be in the list. Or Yaniv, who put you in charge? To set this list from the first place. So, guys, relax. It's only a video for entertainment. The list is based on my experience, on my knowledge and my visibility to the market. If you are new to this channel, my name is Yaniv Hoffman. I'm IT and cybersecurity professional. I started this channel to speak about my passion and experience in the technology and cybersecurity space. If you like such content and you want to see more, please subscribe and do me a favor, smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Did you do it? Great, let's start. So here are my top 10 cybersecurity threats for 2021. Number one, ransomware. So what is ransomware? Ransomware is a malicious software that employs encryption to hold victims information in ransom. User or organization critical data is encrypted in order to prevent access to their files, databases and application. Then a ransomware is demanded in order to provide access. Now, there are few forms of ransomware, but the most common one is designed to spread in the network in order to quickly paralyze the entire organization. Number two, phishing. Phishing is maybe the most common cyber attack out there today. It's mainly an effective technique to gain access into information uh, an organization systems by fooling the victims to click some attachment or provide credentials that later on will be used for ransomware and data theft. The pandemic definitely impacted the commonly phishing attack via email since more and more employees and people are aware and cyber criminals have noticed non-email collaboration platform for phishing that become more common and definitely likely to continue in 2021. Number three, DDoS attacks. So DDoS are distributed denial of service uh, attacks. Like ransomware, they are not new, but lately they are increasing, not only in terms of volume, but also frequency and complexity. The main goal of DDoS attacks is to impact the availability and the business continuity of organization. And now during the pandemic, where more and more people are moving online to stream videos, to learn, to play, and definitely to work remotely, it's more lucrative for attackers to create a ransomware attack using DDoS techniques. So number four, IoT attacks. So IoT adoption is rising among businesses in multiple industries. Similarly, many people also have a lot of IoT devices in their home, which they now work remotely. All of these endpoints represent possible entryways for cyber criminals and security solutions often overlook them. While companies may be unaware of these threats, cyber security professionals are growing more concerned about them. Keeping IoT devices on a separate network from other company systems can help to mitigate these threats. Number five, insider threats. So definitely this is a less publicly known threat that affects uh, organizations at any size. So everyone in the internal structure of a company is a suspect. So Verizon 2020 data breach investigation reports found that 30% of the data breaches in 2020 involved internal actors. As more employees are working from home, 
IT teams will encounter difficulty ensuring they are not acting dangerously. Cyber criminals have jumped on this opportunity, often targeting these workers in phishing schemes. Okay, we have reached number six, and this is password. And definitely passwords are the sweet spot for cyber criminals. Risk-based security report from 2020 found 4.1 billion compromised records and passwords counted in 65 of these breaches. By the way, use this link to check if you are affected by an exposed breach. In an online security survey by Google, 52% of the people reported to reuse the same password for multiple sites. This is alarming as cyber criminals could get access to multiple accounts with it. So keep rolling your passwords and keep them in a secured place. Number seven, zero day exploits or vulnerabilities. And in my mind, these are the heavy eaters because these are the unknown vulnerabilities. It means they do not have yet a fingerprint that match their pattern. It means that they impact immediately in case the security solutions embedded in the organizations are not based on behavioral analysis, machine learning, and AI. Number eight, and a newcomer to the list, deep fake. And deep fake is produced by artificial intelligence that takes video, photo, and voice recording and manipulates someone's image or voice to falsify their actions or speech. As related to business, experts predict that deep fakes will be used by cyber criminals to impersonate members of a company to gain access to important information. This can also be used to commit fraud, as hackers can create fake versions of real companies to lure in unsuspecting consumers. Number nine, API vulnerabilities. So an API is application programming interface that serve as intermediary between applications. The security use for API is typically less advanced than web application security. As a result, APIs are often not made accessible to the public or outside developers. Now with the pandemic accelerating the digital transformation, more applications become more public facing, meaning more security centric. So with the open banking protocols are in the corner, APIs will be needed to strengthen their security and attention. Number 10, cloud jacking. And cloud jacking is a process where your cloud computing environment is infiltrated by a third party. Once an hacker gets into your company cloud, they may try to reconfigure the cloud code to manipulate sensitive data, eardrop on employee and company communication, steal data, and expand the reach to take control of the entire cloud. These are my top 10 cybersecurity threats for 2021. Hope you enjoyed. If you have some comments or feedback, please feel free to leave it in the comment section and I will see you in the next session.